Back now, 8.50 with your life calling today. Today, contributor Jane Pauley has been working with AARP, which produced and sponsored a series of special reports for us. Jane, welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you, Matt. Like a lot of people just starting out, Paul Giannone figured you pick a career, you work, save, retire, and then do something you like. At 56, he found something he loved. And here come your customers. They're early. Here they come. Brooklyn's hottest new pizzaiolo is Pauly G. People kept on telling me you should open up a restaurant. So where do you go for pizza up there? To, I just kept on telling them, you don't know what you're talking about. Paul Giannone was in information technology, as he says, masquerading as a computer geek. But it wasn't quite, you know, what I had a passion for. What did you have a passion for? I love to entertain people. I love to cook. When he was offered a buyout at 48, he happily traded a salary for a small pension and the prospect of working for himself. But it was a struggle finding work. I had a freight train coming at me. I didn't have this nest egg sitting around that I could fall back on. I always knew in the back of my mind there must be something. I wanted to do something with my life that, that I'd really enjoy. At a pizzeria on Coney Island, he found it. Changed your life. It really did. I said, this is really different. And I was told that, well, the difference is it's made with coal and the oven gets much hotter. And it was my pizza epiphany. Inspired, he and his sons embarked on pizza tours. We go to four or five places in a day. I started seeing that, you know, this really isn't that complicated. It's challenging, but, you know, maybe that's something I could do. And I started thinking about, man, that would be nice having an oven. Once I bought the bricks, that was it. We were doing it. He built a wood-fired pizza oven in his own yard. I decided that I was going to open up a pizzeria. And I started telling other people, commitment is a very powerful thing. And then he made his first pizza. How was it? It was ridiculous looking. It looked like an amoeba. But it tasted pretty good. He made hundreds of pizzas. I'm changing my dough recipe every time. Yeah. I'm trying out different topping combinations. And I'm getting an idea what works. And it was entirely do-it-yourself. I didn't go to a pizza school and pay thousands of dollars to get pizza lessons. I didn't fly off to Italy. I didn't hire a publicist. You know, I used social media to get the word out there. He invited the top bloggers to pizza parties in his house. I'd feed them for free. And they weren't going to go back and write bad things about me, that was for sure. Oh, the purpose of this was publicity or to, to test whether your pizza is good enough? Yes. Two years ago, Pauly G's opened its doors. Why is it a good idea to open a restaurant during a recession? Well, particularly pizza. For $15 or so, you could go get, you know, maybe the best, the best meal in New York. The reviews are in, and so are the crowds. So I knew people online. <laughs> good. Crust the dough, it's crisp, tasty. What I can't figure out is how an extrovert got into accounting and technology. All right, well, I'll do my best to check back once you got some oh, pizza to talk about, all right? I wish they had told me that you need to find something that you like and do it right now for the rest of your life. Find your passion and do it because you're going to be good at it. That looks good, huh? Yeah, it does look good. I remember I need... You I work need six week. days a week? Seven. No, I work no days a week. Okay? I, I haven't worked in over two years. When I come in here, I'm not working. Okay, Paul really does work seven days a week. And the reality check, he found investors, but he also mortgaged his house. I hope you can join me this morning at 10 Eastern time for my live internet radio call-in show at aarp.org slash Jane. No, you, I, you know, you, yes, he does work, but boy, that mindset is the power. And but being able to say, no, this isn't work because I love to do it and I enjoy it so I don't work. And there he is out in our crowd right there. And I hope he brought some pizza. <laughs>